The newly appointed tourism minister has hit the ground running. She was addressing the media two weeks after being appointed as new tourism minister about the proposed deal to sponsor the English club. The controversial deal, worth just under a billion rand, sparked a public outcry from different sectors of South African society. The proposed deal was leaked to the media in late January before it was finalized. Representatives of Tottenham Hotspur visited South Africa in December last year and a delegation from South African Tourism went to London the following month. My advice to the board, considering all of these factors, considering the priorities that we need in our country, and considering that uh, this thing is out in the public, we owe the public an explanation. And that's why I'm saying today, my advice to the board is to stop this transaction. Delil admits that the tourism sector is important for the growth of the South African economy, but this is a developing country facing a lot of challenges. There was a motivation in the report that I received from the board uh, about the value of this. But looking at the value of what we can benefit as South Africans or as a country, you have to weigh that up against other priorities within our country. The new tourism minister says the controversial deal cannot proceed because it lacked transparency. The proposed deal has led to the resignation of four senior board members of SA Tourism, including the chief financial officer, Johan van der Wald. I've received a number of questions from members of parliament uh, about the composition of the board, about the resignation of some of the board members. Uh, that matter is receiving my attention. But according to Acting Chief Executive of South African Tourism, Temba Kumalo, the clear mandate is to come up with a tourism recovery plan to assist the ailing industry. We are mandated as South African Tourism to market the country internationally and domestically. And in respect of the tourism sector recovery plan of 2021, that is exactly the mandate. SA Tourism says the proposed deal was a strategic marketing investment aimed at advertising the country as a tourist destination. The three-year sponsorship was intended to start at the beginning of the upcoming English football season. The proposed sleep sponsorship deal was going to expose South African tourism on match day advertising as well as interview backdrops before and after Tottenham's home matches. Sfiso Ramara, SABC News, Pretoria.